Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we're going to see how to merge cells in an Excel table. Excel has the option of defining a set of data as a table, and this is uh, can make certain operations easier if you have your data organized as a table. Uh, for example, if you're creating totals or subtotals, or you need to refer to the data in a table when creating a formula, it is useful to keep your data as a table. But if you want to format this, because a table is more like a data type, it is not just your uh, table that you see that you can create on the worksheet. When you try to merge cells, the option is not available. So in this example, I have a table and I want the heading sales to span all the columns because it is not applicable just to column A. But if I try to select it and go to the merge option on the toolbar, you can see that it has been disabled. So if I want to uh, merge the cells together, I need to change this back into a range instead of keeping it as a table. So to do that, I'll select the table and this brings up the table design menu. So select that and I'll say convert to range. So Excel asked me again, I say yes, I want to convert it to a range. And now I can select the cells and on the home menu, you can see that the merge button is now enabled and then merge. So of course, when we're merging cells in Excel, only the uh, upper left value is retained. So that means only the value in column A will be retained. And that is okay because the rest of the column names are just uh, meaningless. So I'll say okay, and this gets merged. So if you want to merge cells in an Excel table, you have to first convert the table to a range and then merge the cells. This is how to merge cells in an Excel table. Please read the appended article for further guidance.